Why is the internal affairs unit of the police being dismantled since the president came into power? Why has Mr. Koome, to whom the unit answers, transferred almost all competent investigators out of the internal affairs unit? And for those who don't know, the internal affairs unit was set up and is properly equipped to investigate crime by the police. They, repeat reports, they receive reports from the public, they receive reports from fellow officers. IPOA has got no capacity to investigate policemen. IPOA are civilians. Most of them don't, don't understand the operation orders of the police. There's a special unit that deals with this. Why is it that this unit has been dismantled? Starved of funds, competent officers transferred to, to outposts, and the unit left as a shell. Some of these officers, Mr. Speaker, sir, were trained at a very high expense by the public outside this country in various jurisdictions, but they are now doing clerical work in outstations since the appointment of IG Koome. Such that right now as we speak, there is no capacity in the police to investigate what happened on the streets of Nairobi. A capacity that had been built to ensure that if there were any issues, they would be investigated thoroughly by the police who understand how police are supposed to operate. Now, the blood of these children who are killed is crying out for justice. Some were killed in this hallowed uh, house. The young man who was, who was making fun in the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker, sir, why did that young man have to be shot dead? We cannot sit here and discuss these niceties that we are discussing here, complaining and not making a case, yet people have buried children whose only crime was that they went out to say that this country can be managed in a better way. If there's anything that this house can resolve to do and still retain its dignity, is to demand for justice for these kids. We have no other business. Because this country cannot be run the way it's being run. The mayhem that happened across Tomboya Street on the other side of the city, for some of us who walked there and saw, it's unbelievable. Forget what happened here. 